Hi, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do our section breaks in a Microsoft Word document. I'm going to show you how to do particular section breaks which affect the headers and footers in a document. So this is how you can have different headers and footers and different page numbering options in one Word document. So have a look at this document here. I have just uh, default um, text and I've got section one and if we scroll down a little bit more there is section two on page three and then we scroll down a little bit more and at the bottom here we have section three on the very last page and we're going to use page breaks to separate these sections but particular breaks so let's have a look section one I'm going to ignore for now I'm going to go to section two so at section two I'd like section two to be on a new page but I'm not going to use my control enter uh, shortcut because that's just going to make it on a new page it's still going to be part of the same section so I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to go to breaks and over here are my section breaks options and I'm going to go to next page because I'm going to have this on a new page so I'm going to go next page done so you can see it looks like a normal section break page but let's have a look and see how we know what this actually is so I'm going to click over here there we go there and I look, see I've turned on my show and hide formatting and there I can see section break next page. Good, so that's easy. Let's go do that for number three now. Section three, again over there. Go to my layout tab, breaks and next page section break. Now, when you go to the header of that document, so let's go right up to the top, section one. Double click in the header. Oh, you know what, I'm just gonna turn that off for now. There we go. So you can actually see in my header, it says header section one. I'm gonna type that in here so you can see that. Put that in the middle, header section one. Scroll down a little bit. And you know what, just so that it's pretty clear, footer section one. There we go, header section one, footer section one. Next page, I'm still in section one, header section one, and footer section one. And I keep going. So now I'm at the end of my section. Now I'm going to go on to the new section. Here it is here. But now let's have a look carefully. It says header section 2. However, my header still says section 1. That should not be the case. Let's see why that is. Back to my header and footer here. This is the first step. Step number 1 is you see this link to previous. I'm in my header and footer options here. Here's my navigation group link to previous so it's still linked the headers and footers are still linked even though we've created new sections they're still linked so I'm gonna break this link I just break that link there it's now no longer linked to the previous section so I can go ahead and edit this now and say header section 2 so let's see what happens now. if I scroll back a little bit to section 1 there it is there header section 1 I'm still in section 1 scroll down Header section two. Beautiful. Let's go and take a look here. Same thing with the footer. Header section, footer section one, but I'm actually in section two. So I need to break this link to the previous, and I only do this per section. Don't have to do this every single time, just for the new section. And let's make that number two. And now we do the same thing for the third section. Here it is here, header section three. Break that link. I'm not linking to the previous and change that to number three and let's go to here change it to number three so let's close our headers and footers and let's have a look and see that it's actually working so section one has got header section one scroll down footer section one great still section one there still section one the next section begins and there you go this means that you can have specific headers and specific footers for different sections of your document and it's that easy.